Why is the borders open, though? Because the United States is in a real tough pickle right now. My generation, we worked hard. I worked for Verizon. But my kids, your generation, y'all not going to do sanitation work, pick up garbage. Y'all not going to be postal workers. Y'all not going to be electricians. You're not going to be plumbers. You're not going to do constructions. Y'all starting podcasts. Y'all thinking about other ways of making money. What does that mean if these jobs are not being filled? But getting a trade is awesome. Yeah. You know, it helps. Yeah. You know, it builds up your skills. You know, and so and, and, and college is not for everybody. And the one thing about trades is that trade, you can always, it always gives you a, a, the ability to be your own boss. Number four. Hit it, T. Hit it, T. He already said it. He said, No, I want to hear you say it. Four. <laughs> you have a G. Just, heifer. Just like did you just call woman. me a heifer? And did you just call me a Jezebel? Just like a black woman. <laughs> oh, okay. I just like a black Jezebel. woman. <laughs> I'm about to say what? <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, I got Oh, my God. Just, here we go. Y'all see, that's. Do. That's the theme for tonight. Just like a black woman. Just like a black woman. All right, look, video number four. <laughs> the reason why I'm behind, the reason, the real reason behind the migrate crisis, credit motion and success. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, let's go. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Why is the borders open, though? Because the United States is in a real tough pickle right now. My generation, we worked hard. I worked for Verizon. But my kids, your generation, y'all not going to do sanitation work, pick up garbage. Y'all not going to be postal workers. Y'all not going to be electricians. You're not going to be plumbers. You're not going to do constructions. Y'all starting podcasts. Y'all thinking about other ways of making money. What does that mean if these jobs are not being filled? They create programs for the migrants where they're giving them rent. They're giving them money. In Chicago, they have a program where they give them $9,000 every six months. So that's $18,000 a year for rent. That's an average of about fifteen dollars to $1,300 a month. That's good rent That's good. for somebody, yeah. right? So now they living in all these places. Your generation, you, your kids, y'all are not buying houses, bro. So you know what that is? Y'all not getting mortgages. United States needs people to get mortgages. Y'all are not going to college no more. Y'all not creating college debt. United States needs college debt. Y'all are entrepreneurs. Y'all are not joining the military. The military is depleted. That's why they're having things like proxy wars, where they got the drones dropping bombs because they don't have enough military. Y'all are not doing the things that I did, my grandparents did when they came here. So they bringing in millions of new people who are going to do these things. Generation, all these kids, they just want to be rappers. Like everybody wants to be a rapper. Yeah. Everybody wants yeah. to be an influencer. Like yeah. I've I've said it to my, myself, to my sons. Like who's going because to it's take, easy. Who's going to take care of us when we are older, when we are elderly? Like who's going to be our doctors? Who's going to be our nurses? Like who's going to be our caregivers? Who's going to be our lawyers? Yeah, I don't know because if I depend on Gia to take care of me, boy, she be on that goddamn cell phone talking uh. about. Oh shit, Daddy, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you on choking on my spit. <laughs> I just think we don't we don't. We don't, um, we don't, uh, like push or we don't market the blue collar anymore. No, and most people no, don't even don't. know, like the blue collar is where you can actually make the most money because it has the most opportunity. When you go to, again, to be a podcaster and or a blogger or all too. that stuff, that stuff takes sometimes years to become, unless you're already a celebrity. But if you're just a regular Joe Schmo, that stuff takes time mm -hmm. or money year to but, get there but see they think it's easy yeah. they think it's instant easy success yeah, and it's not yeah, I mean, but it's not, minute, it's not but yeah. you gotta think about it like cj saying with the blue collar like you gotta think about longevity what are you gonna do when you retire like uh when you working on blue collar jobs yeah you're putting into your future mm -hmm. like you'll get that pension like me i know i would get me an i once i retire i get me a nice little pension so, you I know just, how many years I've been working with my job. I know if if I known what I had known now when I was a kid, I probably might not have went to college. I would have went to electrician school and became a master right. electrician. Yeah, and to wire a house for three days from start to finish is ten thousand dollars. That's for, that's in three days. So imagine it's there's seven days in a week. So you mean to tell me I can make damn near twenty grand in a week? Just by yeah. wiring so two college, houses. College trade, I look at that as, as the same thing. Because like even like with my kids, I never forced them. I said, look, only thing I want you to do is to graduate high school. Once you graduate high school, once you do and figure your life out on your own, but 
getting a trade is awesome yeah. you know it helps yeah. you know it builds up your skills you know and so and, and, every, college is not for everybody and the one thing about trades is that trade you can always it always gives you a, a the ability to be your own boss right whereas if you work at uh, like he said verizon okay you just say you are um a project manager or something well, if you lose that project manager job, you can't just now become your own project manager. You would have mm -hmm. to get clients and then, you know, market to them. And and that whole, yeah. Whereas tomorrow, if I'm if I'm a plumber, if I know how to do plumbing tomorrow, I can go on Facebook Marketplace. I can go on Indeed. I can go to any type of Angie's list and I can look up somebody who needs a plumber. Yeah. And then boom, tomorrow I could be doing some plumbing work. Right. So it's like yeah. a couple yeah. hundred yeah. dollars. Yeah. Just so one like, little job. Yeah. Most most people don't so, they don't yeah, they don't promote that. So that, before I read the comment, the first comment, my man L Plock, you know what? Let me get Plock. Let me get Plock some love since Plock is in the building. My man L Plock all in the building, y'all. Plock up. So my man Plock says. The problem is that these kids aren't stupid. They see their parents struggle and they don't want to do the same thing. That, that's a that's a that's a valid point. Yeah. yeah. That's a and valid point. It is valid, but what I will add to it is that um I think that a lot of not a lot, there's um some parents who didn't have a plan. They mm -hmm. they weren't focused on doing something. So now they're in the midst of the struggle and yeah, then the kids like, Well wait. I see you doing this and this ain't where I don't want to do that. So I think that, again, if you, I, me personally, like my children, I would want them to follow their passions, but still have a transferable skill that right. if things get, if things get crazy, they get hectic, the world shuts down again or whatever, mm -hmm. you can use this skill to go make some money. Yeah. Make some Podcasting, and you ain't going to be able to get into the, in front of the mic day one. And make some money. Uh, being an influencer, you ain't gonna be able to get in front of the mic day one, and make and, or in front of the camera day one and make money. So it's like have some type of hands-on skill that you can take, and then you can, you know, sit down, talk to some people, and then boom, tomorrow you can start making some money for sure. So let's go to the first comment. First comment: It's true because it's not worth it anymore. These kids see how hard we work, and they don't want it. Same thing this blog just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same thing Plod just said. And again, only time success comes before work is in a dictionary. So, yeah. like, if you think that you're going to just, I don't know, half-ass it and you're going to become the next LeBron James, you're, you're sadly mistaken. You're going to half-ass it and become the next Tyler Perry, sadly mistaken. You're going to half-ass it and become the next um, Ice Spice. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Sadly mistaken. It's not yeah. going to happen. <laughs> and that's the part that they just, that's something in them that they got to get through. Yeah. All right, so comment number two: Housing and college are both unaffordable. Now that is true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. What do you think, um, T? And I think I would say over the recent years, especially with high interest rates and everything, mm -hmm. and rent skyrocketing, yeah, housing is is, is very expensive. Um, which is why a lot of people are, you know, getting houses or renting houses and having roommates. Me, I like I like I I like my peace. Yeah, because like, you like to walk around naked. I like to have my house. <laughs> this joint <after> <laughs> Look, this I like my privacy. Yeah, okay. I like to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Uh, you hear your <laughs> This joint after dark. dark, dark. <laughs> well, look, comment number three. This is partially wrong. People want to buy houses. But the investment firms are buying up all the houses and, driving, up and driving the prices no, way up. True. That is true. Is that, is that true. true, bro? That's that is very, true. very, very true. That's they absolutely true. They turn this country into a renter's uh, country. Yeah. So, yeah. We were just having that discussion. The average house, there. I follow this guy on Instagram, like, religiously. He's a realtor out of Orlando. And he the mm -hmm. average house is $400,000, but the average salary is eighty. Yeah, and so you don't even you, with that eighty thousand dollar more um, salary, mm -hmm. you don't even qualify for the average house, right? And the, so and nobody the sad can, like, part about it is like buying. with this renting now these days is like they want you to make three times the rent, but if you got to think about it, if you're renting something that's let's say eighteen hundred eighteen hundred dollars a month, and yeah. then everybody's and we already talked about the the, the average salary. If somebody mm -hmm. has an average salary that's of fifty four hundred dollars, thirty two thousand dollars a year. They're already below it. 
But, you know, people can finagle it. But, you know, it's just crazy, yeah. especially with these investors. They have made rent expensive as all hell. Yeah, we know you can't afford to buy it, so we got, we're going to make the rent high because you ain't got no other choice. Yeah, but yeah. Which, which doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, the rent is higher than the actual mortgage. Mm. Yeah, ain't that something? That don't make sense. That's why you need to get someone in his old head. He's See? Old head Marlene. Like, the old head like Lopes. You know what I mean? Mr. I pay that rent. Mr. Loris, I'm ready for the rest <laughs> of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Look hey. at him. Let me find out. Hey. He sound like he already got him some. <laughs> I'll be in Mr. Loris DM. Hey, you need me to bring you any um any uh yeast or any baking soda or baking flour or whatever you do to make them pies and cakes? Yeah. Mr. Loris, let me know. If you need a little you need some mothballs, <laughs> you need a, let me know. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. So look, <laughs> make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think.